Hi everybody, in this video I will start with some important questions of physics for ICC 10th semester 2 examination and uh, you can practice them. There are some important questions that can come in your board examination plus you can also refer to previous year question book starting with topic 1. Okay, so uh, I'll just tell you about numericals. You must learn all the formulas, everything is important here. And if you uh, practice from previous year questions, uh, you'll be able to solve them. These numericals are formula based. So uh, they're very easy to solve. And I would also like to tell you about my physics ebook, physics all formulas ebook. If you want to purchase it, the link is in the description box. It has all the formulas covered and the cost is 20 rupees only. Okay, so uh, I'll start with the first important topic that is resonance. They will ask you what is resonance and what is the condition required for it. So you can refer to your book. I, I will not be explaining all these topics or concepts otherwise the video will be too long. Since I want to make it a 10 to 15 minute video. So I'll uh, just summarize everything. Now resonance, uh, the reasoning questions are also important. You can refer to your book. Then we come to loudness versus intensity. The difference between them and also the factors affecting loudness. Then fourth one is, this is a question, a certain frequency of 256 hertz and a wavelength of 1.3 meter what is the speed of sound the formula of v is equal to f lambda f is the frequency lambda is the wavelength so you just multiply 256 multiply 1.3 and make sure uh, to note the units if the units are correct you don't have to convert them then you can uh, write the direct answer here it is 332.8 meter per second Fifth is what is the relation between loudness and amplitude? The answer is L is directly proportional to A square. And the question uh, that can come here is the ratio of amplitudes. So I'll write it short. Of two waves is 2 is to 3. You have to find the ratio of first part that is the loudness. And second part that is the pitch. Now in this first part, since loudness is directly proportional to A square, you will write L1 divided by L2 is equal to A1 divided by A2. Now it is square, so you will write square here, right? Now you have to find the ratio of loudness. Amplitude is provided, that is 2, so square of it and 3 square of it. Answer is 4 by 9. 4 is to 9 is the ratio. Okay, second part. The second part is pitch. So pitch of a sound does not depend on its amplitude. So here the ratio of pitch F1 is to F2 will be 1 is to 1. Okay. And there is this formula F is equal to 1 by 2 pi under root of g by l at frequency of pop of a pendulum is inversely proportional to its length and yes make sure to practice the graphs of natural vibrations and damped vibrations all the graphs and these are the vibrations that are shown in this figure the fundamental tone here the frequency is f here the frequency is 2f and frequency here is 3f so they can ask you like to identify the fundamental tone, the frequencies. Ask you questions on which vibration uh, will produce a louder sound. The sound of which string will have maximum shrillness. State the ratio of wavelengths of uh, this and this. Moving on. Now, uh, questions on potential difference and resistance. They may ask you uh, numericals on this, like V is equal to W by Q. V is the potential difference, W is the work done and Q is the charge. 
they'll give you q as one coulomb and uh, potential difference as 6 volt and ask you to find out the work done that will be w equals to v into q so answer will be 6 joule the units must be mentioned after you solve numericals then we move on to ohm's law a very very important uh, topic and uh, then the graph for a metallic conductor that is the v versus i graph it is like this right then the factors on which resistance of a conductor depends and uh, there is this vi graph for a conductor of uh, conductor at two temperatures i'll just show you this is a and this is b v and this is i t1 and t2 are given these are two different temperatures where temperature 1 is greater than temperature 2 Line A is more steeper than line B as the resistance of a conductor is more at high temperature T1 than at low temperature T2. Right? You may ask you um, which resistance is more. So I told you about this. Moving to next uh, question. Okay, so this is unit of, uh, uh, sorry, this is specific resistance. And the formula is R A by L where R is the resistance, A is the area of cross section and L is the length. You will have to learn all the units. Conductivity is a reciprocal of specific resistance. Okay. Then uh, what is superconductor? Now resistance of some substances like tin, lead decreases tremendously with a decrease in temperature and becomes almost zero in the low temperature range near absolute zero. Now such substances are called the superconductor. Zero resistance of a superconductor means uh, its infinite conductivity. On decreasing the temperature, this resistance decreases and at uh, some point of time it becomes equal to zero. Now when resistance is zero, then uh, infinite conductivity is produced as you know, resistance is uh, the obstruction of flow of electrons. But in this case, when there is no obstruction, then uh, our conductor will become superconductor. Now, there is this relation between EMF, terminal voltage and internal resistance. So, you can learn this. Next is resistance in series and parallel questions from uh, questions uh, and the numericals are asked from this. For series, it is... Uh, adding all the resistance right and for parallel it is 1 divided by r1 plus 1 divided by r2 plus so on okay we will um, try a numerical here let me just check one numerical which you can try out okay So I will solve this uh, question. If you want to comment the answer, you can. You can try it yourself. Solution. Now, in this part, you can see these three resistance uh, are in parallel. That means 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3. Okay. So I am taking this portion. So here RP will be equal to 1 when we calculate it. So I've reduced this part to 1 ohm. This is 1 ohm. Then this is 5 ohm as it is. Let me calculate the resistance of this particular part. Again it is parallel. So formula for parallel is 1 by 4 plus 1 by 6. That means Rp is equal to 6 into 4 
divided by 4 plus 6, 24 divided by 10, that is um, 12 by 5. And that's equal to 2.4 ohm. So I've got this resistance as 2.4 ohm. Now the resistance from A to B, all these resistors are in series. So I'll add them. 1 plus 5 plus 2.4. 8.4 ohm is the answer. Okay. Now uh, R is equal to V square by P or uh, the power rating formula is V square by R. Numericals based on this are R's. Then uh, in household circuits, live, neutral earth, wire and their color coding, high tension wires, please um, have a look on them. Electromagnet versus permanent magnet, the difference between AC versus DC. Then calorimetry, the definition of this and then numericals, please practice a lot in this part because uh, numericals are slightly tough for some students. You can also refer to physics wala videos where he has taught um, all these numericals. Alak sir has taught uh, everything from scratch. So you can refer that video. Specific heat capacity of water and the heat capacity. Um, make sure to learn the definitions. Radioactivity here, uh, they will ask you about um, alpha, beta, gamma emission where you have to answer. Like uh, if they will emit an alpha particle, the atomic number and the uh, mass number, there will be differences. They will be decreased by 4 and 2 with the emission of alpha particle, right? And then for beta, it is atomic uh, number is increased by 1 and uh, the mass number remains the same then for gamma emission atomic number and mass number remains same atomic number it is denoted by z and mass number is denoted by a so there is this difference do not think that atomic number is denoted by a now this question is name the radiation b which is unaffected by the electrostatic field the answer is gamma radiation okay Second part is, why does the radiation C deflect more than C? The answer is C has less mass in comparison to A. Third is, which among the three causes the least biological damage? So, the answer is alpha radiation, that is A. And D is the uh, name the radiation which is used in carbon dating. So, answer is beta radiation. It is used in carbon dating. Thank you for watching this video. Have a good day.